everyone, and welcome to Minecraft Hardcore Episode 6. I've read all your comments about my iron conservation, or lack thereof, and I've fixed up my farm down here. As you can hear, there is now a minecart going along. It did work just fine before because items can be picked up through the tilled soil, but it is more efficient now. And look at this. Heck yeah. <laughs> I actually love that it's working so well. That's going to be fantastic for us trading. Oh, maybe I should trade a little bit of this right now, actually. It's only right to start the episode off with a bit of farming. I can't let all these pumpkins go to waste, even though we have a brand new shiny automatic farm. The manual way is still cool. I keep all of my seeds, by the way, not because I don't know that I can compost them, but because I eventually want to expand this and have like a massive farming area, with maybe like a windmill or something like that. So I'm saving the seeds just so I don't have to collect them later on. And it'll be a pretty big field and it'll be way easier if I just have the seeds on hand already. I'm kind of like that in Minecraft. Um, you'll notice I just store everything. Even if the item seems extraordinarily useless, I just store it. Because you never know, right? The egg farm is going great, by the way. I don't really have it used for those eggs yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out over time. <laughs> Let's go trade all of these goods that we just got. Hello? You don't have a job. That's interesting. How to get you a job? Who are you? Okay, so I'm, I need to trade with this person to upgrade them into master. But first I need to go get some emeralds from these lovely farmers. Discount? Oh, heck yeah. Don't mind if I do, dude. Oh, we're almost on level 30 as well. Look at my XP. Maybe we can do our first level 30 enchant soon. I wonder what I would have to trade this guy. Oh, okay. This one's only one emerald for a shield. And look how much it upgrades them. That's so worth it. Easy. Thanks, dude. Okay, what are you gonna give me now? You've upgraded. <gasps> okay, look at this. Aqua affinity, that's actually not bad. And a chest plate with unbreaking two and protection two. Yeah, again, it's not the most OP in chance, but it's diamond armor for basically free. All I'm paying for this is wheat and pumpkins. It's easy. Once again, just storing away the shields. I do actually have an idea for all of this. Some of it'll get smelted, I'm sure, but I want to do something with the defense system of this area, and I think it would be kind of cool to have armor displayed. So I'm going to save it until I decide if I want to do that idea. Got to do some paper trading for those few extra emeralds that I need. And now I should be able to just find my armor. And yeah, let's buy this chest plate. I feel like that's the most important part. Thank you, friend. There we go. Right, so if I want to, I can actually just disenchant that and I'm at level 30 so I can enchant it. This is interesting. I have a full enchanting table right here at my fingertips. What am I going to do? I know that I can also get a toolsmith, but for right now, just to test things, I am just going to make an axe and a sword out of diamonds so that I can test and chance to see what else we would get in the table. And then I'm just gonna come over here and take the enchant off of the diamond chest plate. Okay, so when I'm enchanting, I always test out a book, which that's incredible. And then I test out the tools that I might want to see what they will have in this case, not that interesting. And this one has protection three. Protection three, to be fair, is not one that I'm that interested in, so I'm almost tempted to go the feather falling. I could just put feather falling on my diamond boots. I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, so all I got was feather falling, but to be honest, that's quite good. What if I disenchanted these, enchanted them with something better, hope at least that I get something better, and then put the feather falling on that? Ooh, also this is fortune two, that's tempting. I'm gonna plan to head into the nether and see if I can't get those extra levels by just mining quartz. It seems like a really easy way to do it. I only need three XP, so this hopefully is good and I'm not gonna die. And we'll get to explore the nether very slightly, just a little bit, not too much, but we can't go ham. We gotta be calm, chill, collected, very professional. All right, let's hop in. Oh, I forgot. I don't have feather falling on these shoes. Oh, Jam, that's the whole point of you doing this. Oh dear, ouch. Oh. Um, let me just remove that. It's a bit annoying. It's actually super impressive to me, the spawn that we got. I really, really love it. We're at a good location, nothing is spawning around us, and I feel like I should just be able to dig this way and hopefully find some quartz very quickly. I'm pretty sure I can hear a strider, which is confusing me. Why can I hear a strider? Okay, this biome right here is nether waste. This, to be honest, is probably exactly what I need. Oh, 
There we go. I finally broke out to the surface. Gosh, this was so challenging. Hopefully nothing kills me out here. Whoa, where am I? Gosh, the nether is terrifying. Why? Why is it like this, dude? Okay, how do I make this the most obvious thing ever? There we go. Okay, um, <laughs> cool. A little bit deadly, but overall, there is quartz here, so it's cool. Almost there. Is this gonna be the final vein that I need? I actually didn't need that much quartz for this. I'm gonna get this extra little bit, just because I'm having a good time, to be honest. Home sweet home. And it's nighttime. Of course it's nighttime. Why would it why would it be daytime? Why could it be peaceful? Please nothing blow me up. Okay, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Is everybody okay? I guess I better go check on everybody. Seems like all is well in the world of the villagers, so that is fantastic. Right, so now, next on my list, all I'm gonna do is just disenchant these boots. There we go, I'll take that XP back, thank you very much. Then we re-enchant them, hopefully get something cool. Okay, you know what, I'll take it. This is great because Death Strider and Feather Fallen go together, I'm pretty sure. So I can have both of those on the boot, I'll be able to walk fast in water, and I won't take fall damage. That's not the correct thing. This is the correct thing. There we go, and it only costs four. Wow, what a good deal. I'm not gonna put on the chest plate until I get it enchanted, just so we're not wasting it. But I do have this fairly good iron chest plate, so I'm not really mad about that. Right, so next thing on my list of things to do is actually a build. Once again, I need a place for that enchanting table that we're using quite a lot now, and I think that that village structure right above my head is perfect. Who's in my face? <laughs> the iron golem really does look at me like I'm something to eat. What do you want, dude? Come on, I'm doing my best here. I'm upgrading this place. Of course, a building project means lots of need for wood, so it's time we chop down one of these mega spruce trees and get to work. Even though I don't necessarily need to transform a villager's house, in order to put this enchanting table in it, I kind of enjoy making little projects like this for myself. It gives me a reason to farm things and have more elaborate plans in a world than just let's beat the game, get diamonds as quickly as possible, go beat the ender dragon and call it good. Like, that's fun. It's cool, but there's more to the game if you want there to be. Lots and lots of tree farming, making sure I get all the variety because I think I am going to be using spruce, oak, as well as dark oak in this build. Gotta use all of the blocks that we have access to since it's still early game and we don't have access to much, let's be real. First things first, all of my potential building supplies. This is what I'm building out of today, mostly starting with some cobblestone and stone brick. I have some more cobblestone smelting over here. I'm actually using some charcoal from the tree that I just chopped down to kind of smelt that. So I don't have a whole ton of coal yet. So just using a little bit of that to get some stone. It'll be really useful for me to get silk touch, but I don't have an XP farm, so I, there's nothing I can do to rush in chance yet. While I'm on the topic, I just noticed that there's a whole cave down here with a lot of skeletons in it that I've not actually explored and I'm kind of curious. So maybe we'll do a little bit of caving. Hello? No thank you. Kind of low-key hoping they hit each other. Skeletons are annoying, aren't they? Bro, relax. Alright, perfect, lovely, love the amount of mobs that are in here, it's really good. Very peaceful. I'm feeling very welcomed in the cave directly below my own village. It's great. I really just hit a bat instead of the skeleton. Really bat? You can't serve a purpose. You can at least not get in the way. <laughs> Alright, this cave system is kinda big, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna head back up to the surface just cause there's a lot going on and this is not what I prepared for today. <laughs> I didn't mean to go on a big caving adventure right now. I just wanted to poke my head in this cave that was on the surface of my village. Um, my bad. On the bright side though, I did get 24 iron ore and there's even more in there if I ever wanna go caving again. What? I feel like there was a death. Was, <laughs> oh, uh, do they chase Enderman? Hello? This wasn't me. <laughs> I d what? All right, so the iron golems are going after endermen. We're really, we're really moving up in the world, everyone. Crazy, huh? I had no idea that iron golems were capable of catching an enderman. That's actually kind of incredible. Right, okay, so whoever is in this house needs to move. I'm so sorry. Uh, we're gonna temporarily move you in with this guy. I feel like it'll be great. You guys will be great buddies in here. 
And I'm just gonna take off the door. And I think the first order of business is going to be to get up on the roof and just start taking it down. I don't really want any of this original structure. It's not large enough to house the enchanting table and I'd like to decorate it kind of like a library. I loved all of your suggestions by the way. I saw so many for different like trees or wizard towers or various things like that but I honestly think because this is a village that doing something around the librarians would be kind of cool. So that's what we're going to start with. This is also really kind of the first house that we're transforming that's actually for the villagers because, well, that one is my house. Um, so I feel like it's important to have it match what they would maybe want if they had any choice in the matter. I kind of love these oak pillars that are in the corners of these. We're obviously going with the dark oak theme, but I think that we can maybe incorporate this as just a little bit of texturing since we already have it. I'm going to incorporate this building directly into the wall. Not sure if this is going to work out exactly, but I think it'd be kind of fun to have it be just this big flat side up against the wall. All right, so here is the layout of our brand new library that we are going to be adding. I think this will definitely be enough room. So it cuts off right about here. And this is the interior space. This is enough for an enchanting table. So I feel like it should be enough for the entire build. And then in the corners, once again, we are just gonna kind of build up a second story. So this can be kind of a two story area. Maybe in the second story, we'll have the enchanting table and in the base layer, we'll have like the main library with the librarians coming in and out. That might be the easiest thing to do. Not sure, let's get it built and see how we feel. Definitely thankful for the feather falling right now. <laughs> that is coming in clutch today. So far, I do just think that I'd like to give it a little bit more depth. So we're just gonna pop this side out by one. This is going to be a little bit more of a plain design. There's not gonna be a crazy amount of depth in the walls. And we're gonna try to combat that by adding some more little extensions off of it. I don't know, I'm kind of trying a style that I haven't done. I'm just hoping that it works out. Trying to just add in some stairs now for a roof outline. And we will probably go through with the granite again, I think. I haven't really decided what accent color I want for this area. We can always change it out though if I decide, but what do you all think? I don't know to be fair. I think the granite is nice. Maybe if we use that with the plain terracotta and the bricks, and then maybe like a red flag could be really nice. I don't know though. Let me know, what colors do you think? It's gotta be something that I can get in the early game. It can't be like some crazy color that's impossible for me to farm right now. It, I, I gotta be able to get it, but if I can get it, I mean, it's fair game. I'm thinking red is pretty easy because we can just go out and look for some beetroot and then literally grow red dye and also have that red dye for trading, which is great. All right, what do we think? The sun is setting, I had to sleep soon, but I kinda like it. I'm honestly not completely sold on the no depth walls, but, if you want a big enough interior and a small enough exterior, you kind of have to compromise and go for the lack of depth. So I think I'm just going to try to dress that up quite a lot in just every way possible. But we'll see what I can do. I kind of like it though because it kind of mimics the style that's in this original village a little bit. I mean, if you look at the walls here with the logs going across and the flat cobblestone coming up, like that's kind of what we have here, just an upgraded version of it, which I don't hate. I'm gonna see if I can help it a little bit. Let's maybe try a diagonal. So we'll add a little shed kind of coming out of this. Maybe, how do I want to start this? Maybe like right here. So just around the corner right there. And we'll just make this little diagonal markings coming off of this. So like so, and then in this way, and we'll build up the corners with stone brick. And this will be like a little kind of storage shed, maybe for some older books off to the side. And hopefully it'll just add like that little bit of flair that this is missing at the moment. Ah, oh, yep, that's way better. Wow, the contrast helps so much. And then something fun that we can do to help out the windows here with a little bit of depth, even when there is no depth. Uh, let me just place that and then that. And let's break the log. And then we just place a trapdoor right on top, just like so. And that is going to be beautiful with a piece of glass in it. Yep, I do think that is better already. All right, let me go ahead and get to work now a little bit off camera. I'm just gonna place the walls and the roof all in so that we can get to work detailing this thing and actually have an enchanting setup. To be honest, I really like it. I mean, the roof color could use some work and it could definitely use an accent color or flag of some sort, but 
it's pretty cool. Let me show you the interior, right? So we come in here, we've got lots of room for books and lecterns down here. Yeah, do you like it? This isn't gonna be your home but I'm really glad that you like it. And then up here, we have lots of room for the enchantment table. So what do you say we get that in place right now? I actually picked up this silk touch ax in that little nether portal. So this is great because even though it goes down really quickly, I can just use it to grab these bookshelves that I put down earlier. Perfect. Thank you so much for your service. Okay, and let's grab the enchanting table and head over to the library. I love how this villager is just hanging out in here. Hey, are you gonna be so into the library weaponsmith? Okay, so I guess that goes right there. And then I'm gonna end up stacking it up. I don't remember if the corners matter. Um, <laughs> let's just check, level 30. Yeah, okay, so that is perfect. I'm probably gonna get another bookshelf just to even that out, but wow, cool, okay. I know that I have a bunch of books from before when I was raiding all of those villages, so let's go use those to make some extra bookshelves to decorate the library. Oh, and I also have these extra lecterns. I'll put the lectern that the villager in our village owns, but I'll also put an extra one so we can get another librarian. And here are the books, perfect. I'm also just gonna detail the ceiling just a little bit and add in a couple of these stripes, just cause I think it looks a little bit better. We'll do the same thing up here and give it more of a ceiling than it currently has just by dragging some pillars across and kind of helping the general look. And we'll add the final bookshelf that is needed right here. Okay, and then down in the bottom here, we do have to just quickly get rid of all this grass, of course. Not 100% sure what to do in here, to be honest, but something along these lines with just a bunch of books in spots should do the trick to make it look like a library, right? A slab. And with some carpet and some finishing details to the ceiling, I think this will be good to go. What a perfect little enchanting area. I just have to move that last villager's workstation. It's over here in this hostel area that I have, and I'd like to just move it into the library. So this is a hostel, is what I'm calling it. It's just basically like the hotel. It's got all of the beds, well, four of the beds, which is quite a lot of the beds in this village because I don't have that many beds. And I'm just gonna take this and move it over here so that that villager starts working in this area instead. I'm so glad that I spent some time building in this episode. It just makes me feel so happy. I know that it's a hardcore world and I should, in theory, be just making a whole bunch of progress, but it's so fun to just relax, do some farming stuff, and do some building. Plus, it gave me some time to run my automatic pumpkin and melon farm without actually having to AFK, because the wall isn't safe enough at the moment for me to actually AFK. And speaking of, maybe I should work on the wall. So there are literal wall blocks in this game. And I think that these can really come in handy for me mixed with some fences to help out my entrances a little bit because it is getting a bit annoying that things can keep getting in and also that the villagers can get out. And it looks like it's meeting time right now. So this is probably a great time to do this. And unfortunately, I do have to get rid of some of this grass just to even it out. Sorry, Jelly, can you just scooch? Thank you very much. Okay, so I think if I just on this diagonal do something like that, in theory, I can walk through here, but mobs don't know that they can walk through there. I think that's how that works. I don't know, we'll test it out. Somebody in the comments suggested that I do this, so I'm just following advice and it looks pretty good to me. Let's do it to this entrance over here as well. There we go. So I can walk through here, but they cannot. Actually, that might not work on the diagonal. I maybe should have tested this. Oh look, the librarian's going in to check out the library. Do you like it? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that they went inside. Good, good. It means they found their home at the very least. Also definitely just gonna have a little carpet in here because I just think it's so cute. It has come to my attention that we are not yet farming potatoes. I feel like that's a crime, really. We really should be farming potatoes. And also, another block that we need is mossy cobblestone. And I don't have any yet because I haven't been growing any vines. But there's so many vines over in the swamp. So let's head over there now and I'll start a little vine farm and also a potato farm so I can trade potatoes and use vines to make our mossy bricks. Right, here we are. Let's just quickly grab some of these vines. Perfect. Don't need too many because they literally grow like weeds. Right, so I have the vines and I honestly, I think for now, let's just grow them in here. Like, why not? They'll grow down this way. I'll harvest them. It's super easy. 
Let's do it. In-house vine farm. It's perfect. Now for the potatoes. This looks like as good a spot of any to begin on a potato farm. So just four out from this and then we fill it in. And the potatoes are growing. It's beautiful. The farm will soon have pretty much everything except for beetroot. I really need to work on the beetroot. Hello villagers, would you like my pumpkins? Thank you very much, you're very sweet. <laughs> I actually really adore having these pumpkins. So I think for the library, I would love to have a chimney in it. And for that, I would love some bricks. And this mason isn't yet upgraded, so I figure a good way to get bricks is just to bug the mason. Sadly though, that doesn't actually create that many bricks. So I may have to go hunt for some clay. Um, maybe there's actually some easy stuff in the ocean if I look. Found some. Perfect. Sadly, I don't yet have aqua affinity, but I do have depth strider, so it's really easy to move around down here now. I've got some bricks now, so it's time for a very important detail on the library. As you can see, I've added a few bushes, and there's even this little area over here where I just poked a little window in it. I think it's so cute. We do, however, need to get our glass paint, so I've grabbed some of these from when we smelted them the last time, and we'll put these in the window before we do anything else. I do not want my villagers, <laughs> speaking of my villagers, I don't want them falling out. This side right here is very, very plain, and it's left so intentionally. This is going to be our gatehouse eventually, so it's gonna have like a big gate that we have to walk through, so it's super safe and secure. And I'm pretty sure the library will end up attaching to this on this side. So there's no point in me detailing it and then just having to take it down. That'd be lame. I am, however, going to detail this wall right here by just adding a fireplace. Super simple, easy way to get some details in. <laughs> I like bringing my fireplaces up all the way through the roof and then just kind of pushing them in just one block like so. We'll put a stair right there and we'll pop it just above the roof line, fireplace, and some trapdoors. All about the little details, folks. And best part, I can jump off my roof and not die. <laughs> I love feather falling. Oh my gosh. Right, okay, well that looks pretty cool. Again, this side of it in general, bit plain, but I think once we get the other buildings in place in this whole area, it'll fill in really nicely. It's cute, I don't know, tell me what you think. <laughs> it's definitely an upgrade. Now, speaking of upgrades, here is our upgraded farm. Let's just see how it did. Okay, okay, you know what? I'm not mad about that, that's pretty good. You know, we could do better. We could definitely expand this place, but I don't really have the iron to expand it and have all the pistons and stuff yet. So for right now, I'm really, really happy with this. I'm not gonna lie. I've noticed the villagers are still doing a very good job at creating these little munchkins right here. So I think it's a good idea for us to get a few more job benches ready. The first of which is gonna be a smithing table. We don't have one of those yet. And then I think it's also going to be important for us to get a flat because the stick trade is pretty OP, I'm not gonna lie. Do you know what would be a really easy one, actually? Well, we do need the Fletcher as well, so let's see if I have any flint. Do I have flint? I swear I have flint. I have one. Oh no, I have lots. So let's do the fletching table and then also the cartography table. So we can decorate different houses based on each of these tables. We can maybe have an archery range, which would be really cool for the fletching table. But let's just place that there for now. Somebody can pick up that job. We'll put the cartography table over in this room right here. And then the smithing table can come over here next to the smelting blast furnace for now. Um, yeah, we're gonna need all this stuff, but we also just need our villagers to pick up jobs whenever they grow up and become available. So that'll be perfect. Speaking of, I never actually did anything with my weaponsmith. There we are. You know what? It could be really cool to do a little bit of trading with this weaponsmith and just see if I can't get any good weapons because my iron sword is getting a little bit low. It's not that low. I'm being a bit dramatic, but you know, we could use it maybe. Also, gosh, I have so much stuff on me all the time. Why? First up is some paper. Thank you very much. And where's my lovely farmers? Here we are. You're talking to the nitwit. <laughs> Ah, perfect, still got discounts. Do some wheat. Thank you, all sold out, crazy. All right, I have 48 emeralds out of that and that should be enough to upgrade my weaponsmith. Where is my weaponsmith and why do I keep losing it? Weaponsmith, please return home. <laughs> oh, there's a baby sleeping, oh my gosh. Look at these two. Oh my gosh, it really is a special thing working in a village. 
<laughs> Villagers are some of the silliest creatures in the game. They just, they lack all logic. They can't pathfind. They're, <laughs> they really need the iron golem, so I'll put it that way. Here's my weaponsmith. Okay, and also I kind of do need these iron axes, so this is not bad for me. Perfect. This guy should upgrade now. Oh, we got a bell. That's interesting. And some iron. I don't actually want to trade much of my iron, but this doesn't upgrade very much. And I don't have the emeralds to do that one. So maybe we'll end up having to do a little bit of iron. I don't love that, dude. You're going to make me go caving, aren't you? How many more is it going to take? Let's just do it. Ah. Let's do it. Okay, I still have six iron. Didn't rob me of anything. To be fair, I could just melt these down, I guess. Okay, now what? Flint? You've upgraded... And it's just flint? Bro. I don't even want it. What the heck? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be a while upgrading our weaponsmith. I think it's probably for the best that we created a diamond sword. Also, a few of you have told me I should just use an axe as a weapon. Is that true? Should I do that? Let's retire the emeralds for now. I feel like that's good enough. It has come to my attention while working in this room down here that I can hear zombies. Do you hear that? I know this is a very loud room, but why are there zombies? They're gonna freak out my villagers, which I don't love because I kinda am at the maximum amount of iron golems I can have. There's probably just a little pocket somewhere down here and I'm gonna try and just mine towards it. Oh, let me turn on subtitles. There we go, so subtitles are on. Do you see zombie groans pops up? Like why does that, there's a cave <laughs> this way. Oh gosh, there's so many mobs popping up. I definitely need to light this up, whatever it is. It's so close to the surface, I can literally hear my villagers at the same time. This must be why my villagers kind of freak out every now and then. They're probably hearing the zombies same as I am. Okay, I found it. Oh my gosh. Dude, have I already been in here? Oh no, it's lava. Why is there so many zombies? Okay, you have got to go. Oh, that's a creeper. I really don't want the creeper to blow up and knock me in. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, <laughs> creeper, can we not? That was good, actually. That was probably best case scenario, to be honest. That was great. Okay, there's a creeper or two. I can't handle two, actually. I can only handle one. Um, excuse me. Okay, brilliant. It's like pay playing peekaboo with a creeper. Ugh, spider, skeleton. I know I'm playing very wimpy, but like... I would rather do this than die, to be honest. I'm not even getting low. I have pretty good armor, but like, just, it's not worth a death. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like the look of that. Not a big fan of spiders. Not a big fan of skeletons either. Sir, please stop it. Put the bow down. We could be friends. Just kidding. We really can't be friends because you're kind of mean. I'm not going to lie. Get, stop it. Okay, everyone, so we have a decision to make because that that looks like the start of a mine shaft if I've ever seen one. Now, it's not a very deep one. We're literally still at the surface. Also, check for sleep. No, we're okay. All right, perfect. Um, But I don't know if I should explore this because I hear spiders. I know that there's going to be spawners in here and cave spiders are super dangerous. Do I risk my life for it for potential loot or do I wait? For now, I'm gonna run back up to the surface like a wimp, but you can let me know down in the comments what I should do. I guess that gives me a new use for this. <laughs> it's now a mineshaft entrance. Very interesting. You'd never know that it was down there up here. Oh, hey, you decided to pick up a job. Very nice, a stick trade. That's actually so useful because I am gonna need arrows and I can make a bow. Oh, I can make a bow. That'll be perfect. That's what I need. Or I could just heal this existing bow, maybe? Uh, I don't think I have enough, actually. My plan, by the way, with this entire room is I was I'm just gonna like expand it. So I'm gonna take out the sides a little bit so that we could get some proper decorations in here and potentially expand it a bunch more. And properly enclose it. Um, it just it just it needs some upgrades now that I know that it's working perfectly. There's just some things that need to be done, you know? Upgrading. I am going all the way back down in this cave for the sake 
of a single piece of string. And maybe that's a little dramatic, but I really want a bow and I only have two pieces of string. So I'm just gonna quickly snag that. Three pieces of string. We officially have a bow. And this should help keep me quite a lot safer. I'm really sick of having to come up and fight everything. It'll be so nice to just kill creepers from a distance. There we go, our first bow. We have some arrows, we have a Fletcher to trade with, and let's go see what enchant we would actually get if we were to enchant this right now with level 30. I'm curious. Okay, just unbreaking three. Kinda lame, not gonna lie. But it is still good to have it. I can use it right now, but I probably will put some enchants on it. I would love infinity though, to be honest. Maybe I just risk it and do it? You know what? Let's do it. Let's just trade a couple times so I can get the XP and then do it. Hello, Fletcher. My potatoes have grown. This is great because I do have a villager that likes to trade potatoes, but I haven't been able to trade with it. So this is going to be awesome. It's going to make it so happy. Perfect. Level 30. Okay, let's go enchant. I love that I can just get XP from the villagers. This is honestly so OP. It's like a self-contained, I don't know, working area. I can get XP, I can get items, get tools. I never have to do anything. I never have to risk my life. It's great. Okay, please be something good. Please be something good. Uh, well, I guess Unbreaking 3 is better than nothing, but it's kind of unlucky. Kind of unlucky, not gonna lie. Well, everyone, I do think that that is going to be all for this episode. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed it and didn't mind me doing quite a lot of building in this episode. To be honest, I kind of just let myself have some fun and create kind of a bigger build. Probably the biggest build in this world right now. I mean, that's not saying much. We're only in episode six, but like... It was kind of a larger scale project. I'm glad we got it done because it gets the enchantment table out of my personal area, which I need to decorate soon. And I also need to finish up the wall around here and just generally help all of the other villagers. But the librarian is at least helped a little bit. We do need a few more details to it. Let me know what accent color you want me to use. And if you want me to so explore that mind shaft, let me know. And with that, everyone, that is all for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.